I drink a lot of water. What is the most natural way to say this sentence in spoken Korean? If you answered, 저는 많은 물을 마셔요. Then watch this video until the end. Let's get right to the point. In spoken Korean, it's often more natural to say the adverb 많이 or the verb 많다 than to use the adjective form 많은. Okay, one more time. In spoken Korean, it's more natural to use 많이 or 많다 than the adjective 많은. Let me show you what I mean. Here's an English sentence. There is a lot of sugar in it. What is the most natural way to say this in Korean? You know, a lot of is 많은, sugar, 설탕, a lot of sugar, 많은 설탕. So it's 많은 설탕이 들어가 있어요. I mean, it's not completely wrong, but instead of this, it sounds way more natural to say 설탕이 많이 들어가 있어요. 많이. One more example. This novel has a lot of problems. How would you say that in Korean? 이 소설은 많은 문제가 있어요? This is grammatically correct, but in spoken Korean, it's more natural to say 이 소설은 문제가 많아요. In short, it's often way more common and natural to use the adverb 많이 or the verb 많다 for the sentences you would say many so-and-so or a lot of so-and-so in English. And here is why. Korean sentences are often centered around adverbs and verbs instead of adjectives and nouns. So the adjective 많은 is less frequently used compared to many or a lot of in English. And this kind of fundamental difference in sentence structure regarding adverbs often having more emphasis than adjectives, that can be the topic for another video. So let me know in the comments if you'd like a lesson on that too. For this reason, if you use 많은 so-and-so too often, it either sounds awkward or sounds like an English sentence directly translated into Korean, and sometimes it sounds like written Korean, which is often different from spoken Korean. And we made a video about that too, and you can find it over here. At this point, let's look at more examples of 많은, 많이, and 많다. Many Korean learners find this difficult. 많은 한국어 학습자들이 이걸 어려워해요. 이걸 어려워하는 한국어 학습자들이 많아요. 이걸 어려워하는 한국어 학습자들이 많아요. A lot of tourists came to Korea last year. 작년에 많은 관광객이 한국에 왔어요. 작년에 관광객이 한국에 많이 왔어요. 작년에 관광객이 한국에 많이 왔어요. There were many people in the subway. 많은 사람들이 지하철에 있었어요. 지하철에 사람이 많았어요. 지하철에 사람이 많았어요. 승환 has a lot of flaws. 승환 씨는 많은 단점이 있어요. 승환 씨는 단점이 많아요. 승환 씨는 단점이 많아요. Now let's go back to the question that I asked in the beginning. What is the most natural way to say I drink a lot of water in spoken Korean? Yes, 저는 물을 많이 마셔요. In this case, it's very awkward to say 저는 많은 물을 마셔요. So make sure to say 저는 물을 많이 마셔요. If you want to find more online courses where you can make your Korean more natural, more native-like, head over to our website, talktomeinkorean.com. We have a course named The Awkward Way to Say, where Chuyeon and Cassie sat down to talk about the 10 English words that so many Korean learners translate into Korean in the wrong way. Check out the link in the description for a free sample lesson about the word angry. And if you have any thoughts to share, please leave them in the comments. Then I'll see you in the next one. Talk talk every day. Annyeong!